Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 7 of Forza Motorsport. Here are my... The, 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 this stuff. I'm 4.8% done with the career. Cool beans. And in this episode, we are taking the Border MR2 that we won last episode. Of course. And we are going to be taking it... Ooh, professional events. We're going to be taking it to the point-to-point -point again. And we are going to be doing the mid-engine event. Because that's a thing that exists. And we have Nürburgring for the first time. Uh, we have sections of Nürburgring, which is pretty cool. We have Nürburgring D and Nürburgring A. So, let's go ahead and start with Nürburgring A. Or getting higher uh, credits, too. 4,000. Alrighty, let's get started on our first race here at Nürburgring. Nürburgring A, I think. And we have another MR2. We have a Renault Clio in front of me. That's actually kind of ter- Oh, there's a fucking- There's a fuck up there! There's a re- uh, bleh. Vauxhall, uh, Speedster Turbo. No, those are those are so fast, and they're in B class, but they're in all like the same classes like D class cars because they don't have much power, but they're like God because they can handle so well. Shit. So this is gonna be a slight problem because the Clio, <laughs> both these cars are fucking faster than mine. I doubt the Clio will actually be faster in the long run. I feel like this car is gonna be actually better handling than the Clio, but. That Vauxhall, though, or the Opal, I think both are in this game. Yeah, they are. Both the Vauxhall and the uh, the Opal Speedster Turbos are in this game. Are going to be a pain in the dick. But they don't have much power, so it can't really out-accelerate me that easily. Even though he's doing it right now. Hello, sir. I would like to pass, please. Oh, God. Bad. 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 Okay. 533, 633. 56% done with this race already. Shit. Got that current corner a lot better than he did. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now I gotta run on him. Later, nerd. Yeah, those are gonna be a pain in the ass. Because they're all throughout the career, too. And, like, you have lower class races. And you have some random fucks in B class. Like, they're everybody's in D class except for these fucks. In the B class, uh, the speedsters. And they're annoying as hell. But, for now, this car appears to be holding its own, which is pretty decent. That spoiler, I bet, helps. Maybe. I'm not actually entirely sure if the speeds I'm going actually matter. But there we go. There is the first race done. There's a regular MR2. I like how it says MR2 Mark II, but there's no Mark I MR2. But there is the uh, ZZW30 MR2. Ooh, 7,500 credits. Hell yeah. We'll be at level 11 by the end of this episode, probably. Let's go ahead and do Nur- it's, it's called Nurburgring East. That's Nurburgring South, but it's Nurburgring A on the, the picture. And this one's Nurburgring D, but it's Nurburgring East. Huh. I did a lot worse than my first- my old attempt, too, apparently. Although I think I probably upgraded the car. So, let's give this a try. <laughs> See if I can do this as easily. And so we are here on Nurburgring D slash East, apparently. And there's Lancia Stratos, I just realized. Huh. Okay. Let's see if I can pass these fucks right away. Ow. That was my car bottoming out on a fucking curb. Excuse me, Renault Clio. You need to move out of my way. Thank you. I have to say, the physics of this game are very, oh, forgiving compared to, like, Forza 2 and on. With, uh, oh, shit. That's no good. Oh, that's really no good. Oh, my God, people. You dumbass. Okay, we're trying this again because everything went bad after the first corner. So. Let's go Turbo MR2. Oh, thanks for that. Thanks for just blocking me back there. Take this turn pretty much flat out. There we go. That's what I was looking for on the first attempt. Okay, 22 seconds in on the second race. Gotta remember that. And this is like the last section of the track, too. 
So I'm excited. I'm kind of interested to see how fast this car is going to go down the straight. I have no clue what it would have went before whenever I played this before. Go through the little jump section here. Jumpy jump. Okay. There's a little another jump right about here, yeah, somewhere on there. Car behind is actually very far behind, surprisingly. And around the last two corners. Go through the little curve thing down here. Which isn't really much of what it actually is in like other games. Specifically, uh, laser scan track games like Gran Turismo 6 and Forza 7. Somewhere on Forza 7. But, oh god. The car behind is 5.1 seconds behind. Thankfully, the Cleo's nowhere near me. Because he would actually pass me. And let's see how fast this thing will get up to. I bet it'll go about 135, and that'll be all it Oh, that'll be all she wrote. Eh, maybe faster. Maybe. 133, 134, 135. They're catching up pretty quickly. Why are all of you faster than me in a straight line? Oh, 138. 137. So I did get 138 for a second. Hey, look at that one. Oh, it's VX220, okay. Uh, Cleo, V6, yada yada yada. And we got 7,500 credits, which is pretty fucking neat. Oh, I'm not to level 11 yet, damn it. Oh, well, let's go ahead and see our prize car VIS Racing MR2 Turbo T Bar. I think this one looks a lot cooler than the other one. The brake lights are atrocious, but everything else about it is pretty nice, though. I like the wheels a lot. So, cool, we got that, and I'll be using that sometime in the future. Or something but for now thank you all so much for watching this episode of forza one there's my stats and i am out of here see ya